Hi, welcome to my video. I am Burbul Chandrasagar from Bangladesh. This is my MIS and accounting software for IPFF2 project. I have developed this software for a bank and here I have used technology backend Laravel framework of PSP for REST API and frontend Vue.js and Material Design Beautify. This project we hand over to the client on 10th June 2021. Mainly this project has been developed for loan management. This, this is main feature of this project. Now I will talk short description about this software. This is login panel of this software. Now I am login by admin user. First of all, I am select project name IPFF2 and user ID admin at the rate of gmail.com and password password now I am click on the login button after login successfully then we can see the dashboard of this of the project there are total 10 modules of this software So, I will give a short description of the loan on uh, on lending module and just show features name of the others module. Now I am clicking the on lending modules icon. Now you can see the message. Welcome to on lending module. Here, here uh, we'll talk about loan profile. Loan profile. Uh, on, uh, this is all features of on lending modules. And here I'll discuss about loan uh, loan profile. And any others any others modules here admin setting project information financial management asset administration training on lending procurement document management and report admin there are two features user list and user type setting main menu and sub menu main menu what is the main menu main menu is a admin setting project information financial management all this module and sub sub menu what is the sub menu sub menu is a main menu sub menu credit master designation this is all the sub menu Project information. There are. This is uh, this is features of this module. Uh, financial management, accounting. Uh, this uh, this is this more of these features of this of this module. Account information, economic code information, etc. Asset, asset module. This is features of this module and administration module. This is feature training module. This features on landing. This features procurement management. This 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 features this all these features of procurement procurement module. 
document management upload document view document and report report there are there are four features of this module now i am <coughs> short describe about the loan profile feature this is data table of this feature data uh, this this data table data has been loaded by the server side data here we can see filter option now uh, we can filter by loan number residual number and reset number if we click on the add new button then we can see the form after click on the add new add new button then we can see three tab three tabs here first tab loan profile entity second loan profile and entry document and loan schedule user can create loan profile by this form and upload documents of loan profile by these forms and then we can we can see loan schedule now i am back to the again data table before i already i already created 57 loan profile i i want to i want to see this information now we go to the edit option now here you can see loan loan number loan number is uh, will be created automatic automatically must be unique loan number and project sub project name project name loan period 72 month currency bdt or usd loan amount here loan date reschedule date repayment date repayment period <coughs> repayment period instrument type what will be the instrument type there are two two types of instrument then quarterly and half yearly reset number number of instrument the, this instrument number depend on instrument type and loan period if we say if we uh, if i change the half yearly then number of instrument four if i select quarterly then number of instrument eight Inst uh, interest type variable and or fixed uh, if i select variable then we can select interest interest rate reset frequency by month but if i select fixed then we we can't set interest rate reset frequency by month sub project location this project location value come from project wise when i select any project then this value will be automatically automatically come set here interest rate what will be the interest rate for this loan? A client name, overdue interest rate, agreement date, grace period. Grace period value will come automatically and depend on depend on loan period in month and repayment period in month 
these two fields fields subtra subtraction value will come here interest by in grace period here we can see interest pay in grace period if we, if i select with uh, without interest payment then we can we can we can select say we can set a grace period percentage amount if we can uh, if we select with interest payment here we can here see interest pay in grace period we now it, it, here when i uh, when i select uh, with interest payment that means grace period here uh, that uh, when select with interest payment then you can set grace period part uh, interest rate grace period interest rate uh, pfi name pfi pfi name means all bank name here the grace period period interest rate what will be the what will be the grace period interest rate we can select here we can type here sector uh, sector name sector name will be come automatically depend on project name sub project ida and amount sub project goft amount this is this value will come from project wise when select project then when the select this project then these two fields value will come automatically because predefined value it's predefined value pfi account pfi account in b bangladesh bangladesh yeah, PFI account, account name, account number, commitment charge, if has commitment charge, if repayment, and repayment is started, disbursement amount writer, disbursement amount to cop, repayment account, or remarks, note here. Now, I go to the next, only next, next button, next step. Next, click on the next step next button here you can see the loan profile entry document form i am already uploaded one document this is uh, this uh, this document for project relevant document now i go to the next next step loan schedule then we can see here investment promotion and financing facility to ipff to project repayment schedule now you can see here repayment schedule here our total loan amount 900 and interest rate with installment amount then equal to zero this is grace period zero zero grace period and this is installment period client only pay only pay installment this installment period this installment only pay If you want to download Excel file or print, you can do it. Now, I go to the again list phase. Here, I want to see the loan 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 schedule. Then click on the view button. Then you can see repayment schedule. Now go to the loan disbursement amount disbursement feature if you want to disbursement the loan then you can do here instrument collection 
if you want to collect the instrument then we can do by this form now i am select loan number then search and we can see loan period i am select not first loan number i am select three number three loan number one two three Search, then we can we can see instrument instrument list. This is a grace period. This is grace period. Uh, this is one two three four five and twenty from twenty uh, from one to twenty. This is loan period instrument period. Client only pay this this instrument. One instrument is paid, has been paid. One instrument has been paid, and others instrument not paid. When pay this instrument, if uh, if instrument is success, then status will be changed. Then we can say paid here. When I click on when I click on the repayment button, then you can see this form. This form uh, we we collect the instrument by this form. Okay, now I go to the loan loan reset loan reset uh, loan reset feature. Now you can select if you want to reset loan. Then you can do by this form. Now I am select. Now I am select this uh, this loan number and SARS. Here you can see the loan reset interest form. Here last interest last interest reset date is zero empty. Last reset number zero. Last interest rate five. That means when click on the loan this loan. This time we will uh, we'll, uh, we'll give this interest rate. Now, uh, a new now we can now we can set new interest rate by this field and new interest reset date. Now I am go to the loan reschedule feature. Loan, uh, I, uh, loan, loan reschedule feature. If you want to reschedule, reschedule loan. In, in, in if you want to reschedule installment of this loan, then you can do by this form. By this form. Now you can select loan number. And you can see loan residual interest rate. Old residual debt, new residual debt. Old residual now, new residual now. Old interest rate, new interest rate. Remaining number of instrument, number of new instrument, number of instrument. This is old. This is old information. This is no new information. Old grace period, new grace period. Old, old instrument type, instrument type. This old information we can't we can't sense. We can't sense. Can't sense. New instrument number, instrument type. Old repayment start date. New repayment start date. We can see all this information here. After. After submit successfully, we can see we can see loan residual. Then and now I am go to the again go to the loan profile for for understanding understanding. Then when I create residual, then again 
in installment schedule repayment schedule will be changed will be changed automatically it depends on loan loan amount and grace period and repayment repayment date now i am go to the early uh, early settlement feature if you want to to do early if you want to do early settlement then you can do by this form early settlement num uh, this schedule number just understand as understanding uh, now i am go to the again again loan loan profile click on the loan residual early settlement if you want to early settlement at a time one not sorry two three four that means three instrument then we can do here residual number Sorry, I I I I wrong. Uh, reschedule now. This is reschedule number. When I uh, um, reschedule number will be sent automatically. Reset number reset number zero. Sars. Again, in here you can see settlement date, currency, USD uh, USD rate. You can change here USD rate. Sub project we can change project name total pricing amount total price uh, pricing amount total interest amount total outstanding amount commitment charge if you have commitment charge if have has commitment charge then you can set here other charge if you has other charge then you can set here and after save then we can see all the settlement list here okay this is my ms and accounting software for ifff2 short description thank you so much for this watching my video if you think I am the right person for your job. Please, please give me a chance for your job. Thank you. Thank you.